Hello and welcome to Howley Hall Golf Club where today I'll be taking a look at one of the new truss putters from TaylorMade. Ryan Rastel here for GolfShake.com and as I've said we're here at Howley Hall Golf Club in a break in the bad weather out on the golf course here and today taking a look at one of the new truss putters from TaylorMade but before I do that um, make sure if you haven't already done so, hit the subscribe button, see loads more content from all of us here at Golf Shake to help you play more and play better. So, TaylorMade Truss, very different putter line than anything TaylorMade have brought out before, very different look, and we're gonna talk to you a little bit about why they've done this. Now, um, you'll see it's not a conventional look and shape, and particularly all around how the shaft is connected to the head and then the head then connected to the, the, the rest of the body really. So all of the truss line of putters feature this superstructure here. And the reason that TaylorMade have done this is to try and make the head more stable. Now they found that some of their tour players who use the spider putter really liked the stability that spider gave them, but didn't like the big shape um, and the big footprint that a spider gives you. Maybe you wanted something that looked a little bit more traditional. You'll have seen over the past couple of seasons, players like Dustin Johnson have kind of gone from using spider to then a more traditional blade putter and back to spider again and kind of had mixed results. Um, and from talking to some of the guys at TaylorMade, it's because he really likes the way he puts with spider, but doesn't like the way that it looks behind the ball. So trust is kind of a little bit of a product of that where it looks a little bit quirky when we look at it in the down the line position or actually when someone's putting, but actually when you're stood over it and looking down on it, it looks a more traditional kind of shape. And, you know, there are lots of quirky designs out there in the golf industry. And I think that if you were to use this for any length of time, you would just get used to it. And, and it actually looks quite good when it's sat behind the ball. So, um, like I've said, this superstructure technology has been used to help keep the head more stable um, increase MOI and also stop um, when you don't hit the center of the face basically you get you get a better roll on it as well the pure roll insert is one of the reasons for that so we get the same feel like we do off the spider putters it isn't milled like um, many of the other uh, models that we've seen in the past from TaylorMade it actually uses the insert technology that we see in the spider and spider s putters we've got weights there in the bottom of the um, of the clubs so are in the heel and the toe so we can really ch we can change those weights um depending on the length the weights of these will change as well just to help make the head feel the correct way get the swing weight right and uh, help with the moi as well so the model we've got here is tm2 which is a almost like a fang kind of design of putter um but the way in which the um shaft goes into the head almost gives the appearance of a, like a center shaft um, so we're going to have a bit of a put with it here on the green and see how it performs but we'll also see the shaft that um, uh, has been used in some of the spider putters before which is from kbs now um, you may think that putter shafts don't really make any difference when we've seen um, you know specific shafts made for putters and kind of help balance the putter a little bit better you'll see this in in other brands as well where there's been multi-materials used to try and balance the shaft out um but the kbs um the ct tour put a put a shaft this one in the 120 really helps complement the weight of the putter head and the grip and balance the putter slightly better we've also got this um, nice lampkin um, grip on it as well so lampkin is obviously a very popular um brand of grip this is the uh, sync fit skinny grip so it feels really tacky but more of a traditional kind of um putter grip and shape so that along with the designs that we see in truss really um kind of look to suit the the player who likes a traditional looking putter but maybe wants some help and some technology in there as well so let's go take a few putts and see how it performs now like we've said from the actual address position and the way that this club looks behind the ball it's a bit weird um, but when you actually sit it down behind it um, and line up to the put you kind of don't really see it it's kind of masked quite nicely by the shape and the way that this putter sits let's just hit a few and see how we get on much different 
sound. It's a much more higher pitch sort of pingy sound that we get off the face. Um, very different to the Spider and the Spider S that we've tested previously, but you know, don't dislike it at all. I think the the actual way that the putter swings and and the feel off the face is good. The sound won't appeal to everybody, but. You know, this putter isn't for everybody. It's for, like I say, that sort of player who maybe likes the look of a more uh, traditional shape of putter, but maybe doesn't want to have a big um, footprint of a spider or or that kind of putter as well. So it actually sounds very much like the um, some of the original ping ones used to, the really old ping ones, um, which I quite like. Um, it's very different to what a lot of putters out there on the market sound like at the moment much more higher pitched um sound that you get when you actually hit it but like i say i really like the shape it's nice and stable easy to line up with that one line on the back of it we're getting a really good roll off the face as well I actually really like it. I, I really thought I wouldn't, to be honest, before I hit it. But the feel off the face is very, very good. Aligning it is very easy as well with just that one single line on the back of it, which I quite like. Um, but yeah, the stability and the MOI that we're getting from not only the fang shape, but also the way that the um, the putter, the, basically the top line of it is joined to the head with this superstructure. I think it actually works, which... You know, I was a bit sceptical, and you always are when you try new technologies and different things and the claims that manufacturers make, but I definitely think for that player who wants that bit more stability, but wants the look of a traditional putter, Truss has definitely got to be one of those that you try. And particularly if you really like the sound of some of those older ping kind of models, you're gonna love this as well, because it really does sound much more higher pitched. I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you've got any questions about truss or putters or putter fitting or even custom fitting in general, please drop, drop us those questions below. We'll do our best to answer them for you. Um, hopefully you all uh, have enjoyed the video. We'll see you all very soon. And like we always say at Golf Shake, play more and play better.